Hi and welcome back to my channel. This week's problem is a vector-based problem. It's an IGCSE past paper question and it is about uh, putting a line into a ratio. So you can see here we've got this vector set up and we want to split the line in the ratio from A to P to P to B. Can you solve this problem? If you are doing your IGCSE, do you know how to do this? And if you are someone who has done their GCSEs or IGCSEs, can you remember how to solve this problem? Pause the video now if you want to have a go at the, this problem yourself. Otherwise, I'm going to show you my solution in three, two, one. Also, before I do that, it is my birthday today, so please drop a like on the video and if you're not subscribed to the channel. Right, let's get stuck into it. Okay, so the first thing that I would want to do is to try and think about the way that I can get or the ways I can get from A to P. Now, one of the ways of doing that is uh, by doing a fraction, a multiplier, a scale factor of the full line AB. Okay, AP is some fraction of AB, and we're, we're going to multiply AB by X. Now, sometimes you might see this as lambda or uh, mu, uh, symbols often associated with vectors, but you can use X and Y like I'm doing here. The other way from A to P is to go from A to O, and then do a fraction of the line from O to C. And again, I'm using this scale factor as Y instead of what you might 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 see somewhere else as mu. Right. Now I can start to replace or I can equate these two things first of all. So because these are both AP, these things must be equal to each other. From there, like I was just saying, you can start to reply, re replace the vectors with actually what they are in terms of A's and B's. So A to B is made up of minus 3A, so that's A to O and then plus 4b. Now obviously it's minus 3a because it's going in the opposite direction of the vector, so it becomes negative. Okay, a to o we can then replace with minus 3a, and o to c we can replace with 4b plus 2a minus 2b. We can then simplify that 4b plus 2a minus 2b to 2b plus 2a, uh, and then on the top, we can multiply the x in to give us minus 3xa plus 4xb. And then on the bottom, we can multiply the y through to give us 2yb plus 2ya. And then we can collect our like terms here, so our a uh, component of the vector um, terms. So we've got minus 3a on the bottom plus 2ya. I've just rearranged it with the addition, swapped around the 2ya and the 2yb. And the reason I've done that is so I can factorise out the A component of the vector. So that gives minus 3 plus 2Y in brackets A plus 2YB. Now the reason that I have done that is because I know these two vectors are the same, if they are the same, which they are, then each component, so the A components must be equal and the B components must be equal. And so what we can do is start to equate these things. Okay, so there's the A component in yellow and the B component in green. Now, that means, like I say, they must be equal. So minus 3x must be equal to minus 3 plus 2y, and 4x must be equal to 2y. Now, we can forget about the rest of it and, and just think about these two equations now and solve these simultaneous equations. Now, the second one, the 4x equals 2y, is, is quite easy to rearrange. Divide both sides by 2 and we get 2x is equal to y. We can then replace the y in the above equation with 2x, gives us this, so minus 3x equals minus 3 plus 2 lots of 2x, which 2 lots of 2x is equal to 4x. <laughs> and then we're going to rearrange by adding the, well, adding 3x to both sides, gives us 0 equals minus 3 plus 7x, Add the 3 to both sides, we get 3 equals 7x. Divide by 7, we get x is 3 over 7. Now going back to the earlier equation of 2x equals y, substitute in for the x, so 2 lots of 3 over 7 is equal to y. That means y is equal to 6 over 7. And they are the two values which we can then go back to look at our original equations. Okay, so we had the AP is something x times AB. 
So x is 3 sevenths, and that means AP is 3 sevenths of the whole vector A to B. What that means we can do is we can label that or put it on our diagram. So A to P is 3 sevenths of AB, which means that P to B is 4 sevenths. And that we can then use to give us our ratio using the numerators of these fractions because ratio compares part to part, whereas fractions compare part to the whole. So that means AP to PB is 3 to 4. If you were able to solve this problem yourself, make sure to let me know down in the comments if it was the same as my solution or you did it in a different way. Uh, if you enjoyed this problem, please like the video. And if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and like I say, drop a like and subscribe. And there should be some more videos up here or one more video you can click on, which should be uh, something you want to watch if the algorithm allows it. So yeah, check that video out. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, enjoy your week. Uh, if you'd like to, say happy birthday to me down in the comments below. I'd appreciate that. Um, and have a great week, everybody. See you next week, Monday, 5pm, for another problem-solving video. Till then, bye-bye.